So now in this video we're going to look at a tool that I think is pretty cool. That is the uh, Drock USB tester right there. So according to uh, the back it says we can measure, I don't know how it's going to show up, anywhere from uh, 2 volts to 30 volts and then anywhere from 0 amps to uh, 3 amps. So I don't know how well it's showing up but uh, in any case that's uh, what we got. So we uh, need to uh, power this. It measures how much power is being provided from the power supply when it comes to a load. So looks like we need about 13 milliamps of current to power it. Right, this power supply has a uh, USB output setting right there. So it actually turned off. I did the power button to uh, turn it on. But uh, in any case, we're just using the USB. It's like plugging into any other USB. Now it's measuring the voltage. That's the power needed to uh, light the LEDs and stuff right there. So in any case, we're going to just uh, measure what this flashlight needs and so we're going to take the USB end of the cable so it looks like that side can uh, do data. We're going to use that anyways even though I've never uh, put uh, data through this tester. And then uh, we got the micro USB for this flashlight here. It's a little tricky plugging it in. There we go. And uh, so right now the capacity is clearing. So the last time I used it, we uh, got a capacity measurement. That's what that was showing. So there you can see the current with the uh, light on. And I'll do the uh, side light, which I use sometimes, because uh, the other light turns on and off rapidly. So when I need a steady light for uh, sensitive equipment, then I use the side light. But there you can see, a little less than one amp of current. So let's go back to that capacity. So if we power this for... A little more than an hour if it was one amp it would be one hour we'd have a one up there so it'd go up to 999 and then all of a sudden it would be one zero zero and uh, this would start going up over time again after two hours it would say two that's the capacity it's the uh, amperage by one amp over how many hours it is so like you could test uh, battery capacity with that um in case I said it now it's going to keep alternating between that capacity, the power, and the voltage, and the current, which uh, I find uh, kind of annoying. So power is just voltage times current right there. Um, but it's uh, that easy to use these uh, USB testers. So especially if uh, you don't have a power supply, letting you know the uh, current uh, directly. Right now the battery is charging. Um, then these testers might be nice for uh, testing battery capacity and stuff. It's not a battery protection, but you can see the uh, power that you're getting out of it if uh, you want. So in any case, that's it for this video. It's a short video series, and this one went on long enough. Check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.